Right guys, here we are for a unboxing or unwrapping. So doing this in the kids' bedroom, as you can probably tell by the plane mat, I don't have enough room in my bedroom and this is not a small package. Uh, as you can tell, it's fragile. Uh, this is how it came this morning over the moon. Packaging is amazing. This thing is padded like you wouldn't believe. There's there's no way these things are going to get damaged unless it actually got physically ran over. So I'm going to turn the camera off for a second to cut this open and I will be back in a moment. So here we are, taking the outside layer off at least. Um, yeah, this is how they're all taped up, bubble wrap, taped. The, these things are moving. This is packaged really, really well. Um, I have to turn it off again just to uh, cut all these apart. But uh, I'll be back in in a moment. Hold on. Right, here we go. Um, I have literally seen people move house with less bubble wrap than this. This packaging was 10 out of 10. Can't, can't, can't fault it at all. Could not be better. So, moving on to the actual main uh, attraction. Here they are. The Arboreal Enclosures from Tarantula Room. Um, they look great. I've got two of the big ones, three of the smaller ones. Uh, these are the two of the larger sizes that they do. Right, going to tidy up all this rubbish and then... Uh, Actually, let's have a look at some uh, enclosures. Right, uh, here they are. Let's have a closer look at these. Uh, so, yeah, I'm really, really impressed. This is what they will look like when you first get them. Uh, they're not see-through. It's got a white protective film. It stops the scratches, keeps some uh, pristine condition. So, take the lid off. And on the inside, there's the white layer. So, you peel that off. From the inside all the way around. Let's have a quick look. Um, so yeah, remove the inner white film. And then what you will get, rather than this uh, white thing. Put the lid back on, hold on. Is... That's the other one. Okay. Yeah, see through one. It's great. This is one of the bigger ones. Now... Probably going to look at it and think, oh, it's not great. Um, it's not perfect. Now you've taken the inside white layer off so that it's see through, you're going to notice all these hairline scratches um, that weren't visible when the white layer was there. Don't panic. There is a second outside layer. It's not as obvious because it is see through, uh, but trust me, it's there. Peel that off. And they are like this, crystal clear. Um, ignore the white lines on this, this is my head, headphones reflecting. But yeah, crystal clear, not a single scratch on them. So they are protected inside and out. Uh, so they are perfect when you get them. Um, over the moon with these so far. So yeah, definitely don't panic. If you peel the white layer off and they seem scratchy, don't forget. It's not as obvious, but there is an outside protective layer. Let's have a take a look at the top. So the two larger varieties have got three vents at the top. I believe the smaller ones have either got two vents or the, maybe a tiny one with one vent. They are, yeah, they're really good quality. You can tell it's strong. Um, the spider's not biting through that. I don't care what the spider is. You've got three locking catches. You turn them around. You can see a little hole. It shows which direction they're facing. You turn them around so that the holes face inwards. That means the locks are facing inwards. Off comes the lid. There they are. Really simple design. Um, I'm loving them. So they're really good quality. They seem well made. I quite like the lid design. It's got a little lip on the inside, which means if your tea runs up the side, it doesn't run straight out. It hits this lip and tends to stay in the enclosure. don't know if that was deliberate or, or not. But um, I like it. So what I'm going to do is fill these up in a moment and uh, let you have a few shots. Um, oh, I suppose I should also cover the actual guy. I'm not going to try and pronounce your name. I apologise. I'm going to refer to you as Tarantula Room. Um, buying these was so simple. His communication was excellent. Um, he's been really, really good. I know he was working late and doing overtime and stuff, but he made an extra effort to get them out to me the same night that I ordered them, knowing that I wanted to do some rehousing over the weekend. He's told me 
had to care for them, had to had to like clean them without getting any scratches, um, maintenance tips. You know, he, he's just been absolutely fantastic. Um, can't recommend it enough. The process of ordering these, really, really simple. Yeah, highly recommend it. Um, I really appreciate the extra effort that you went to. So, uh, yeah, that's great. Cheers, mate. Let's uh, move on to... I'm probably going to do a, an instructional video of me setting them up, but I'll be separate. For now, I'll cut through to the finish, finished product. Right, here they are. All rehoused. Um, actually, I've got one empty one, because uh, I'm waiting for a spider to come. But four of these are now rehoused. The other one's set up and ready. Um, I think they look amazing. They really do. I've got a HMAC, uh, two verses, um, Pocathera Regalis at the back, and the one around the other side, the other large one, is going to be from my Pocathera Metallica, uh, which I'm getting at the weekend. Oh, I don't know what to say, guys. Um, they're, they're amazing. I'm not going to have them arranged like this. I'm going to redo my shelf slightly. Now I don't have that stupidly high exoterra. I've got extra height. So I can move this shelf up. Makes uh, the shelf below larger. And I'm going to have two shelves worth. So that they're spread out nicely. So that you can get the full effect. Rather than in this kind of V-shape that they're in at the moment. But even though they are. It's, it's amazing. Um, I can actually see my tees so well. Um, I've made the tanks quite simple because I like my teas to be the centerpiece. I don't like lots of you know, colourful flowers and, and things like that. I want my tea to be the focal point. Um, but yeah, the, these things are amazing. It's coming out around it. Every one of me uh, juvenile verses coming out to say hello. Um, you'll have to excuse all the white lights um, or white lines. I've got my curtains behind me. I've drew the curtains to try and uh, stop the glare. But these things are so clean and they're so pristine that um, you can see the, the glare showing up on camera. Um, yeah, these things are brilliant. I don't know what else to say. Can't recommend them highly enough. Um, I should make it clear I've not been paid by this guy. I'm not sponsored. I didn't get these free or anything stupid. I paid full price, the same as everybody else. I just thought I'd do a review and... Oh, yeah, I can't recommend them highly enough. I really can't. I understand he's going to be doing some um, terrestrial ones in the future. I think he's already made them and he's just testing them. I would definitely be checking those out uh, when they come out. And it would be amazing to have an entire set that matched in style. Um, but yeah, guys, if you haven't got any of these already, even if they're the small ones, oh, get them. Cannot recommend them highly enough. And uh, yeah, I'd like to thank him again.